How you doing, girl, and where you from? I ain't never seen you smile like that. But you make me so happy, I'm glad you're here. Where you from, and what's your name? Are you from New Windstorm? Cause I got something magical for you in store. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yo, yo, friend me. They're gonna shut us off. You know, if you don't friend, they shut you off. Mm -hmm. Friend, send me a friend request. Are you wild? No, I don't mean like in that way, but like, do you know how to send a friend request? <laughs> so do it, do it, do it, do it. No, you didn't. It didn't go through. No, I did. You did? I did. My God, I, it's not going through. Like, what happened, Sandy? This is, your, this is your phone? What kind of phone you got? Uh, uh, Obama? <laughs> no, can you do it again? Um, um, I'm pressing the button. Man. I'm saying, what, what you was eating? Chicken? You got grease on your fingers? All right. Oh, it's pressing, but you're not, it's not going through all the way. Friend, friend. Okay, let me see if I do it. Friend, I send you a request now. We're going to have to do it like that. You got it? Fuck. Yeah. I'm trying to be smart right now. Yeah, My that, brain is fine. Yeah, that could, <laughs> being smart could be a, a crazy task. Holy shit. Somebody just fell. Listen, you're live on my show, Kwan the Lockout. Where you from? Um, New York. You're lying. I am? Yeah, you're not from New York. Where am I from? You're from fucking wind, wind, fucking Windsor. <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> Are you? It's in New York. That's New York. Yes, that's in New York. No, no, no. But I'm sorry to inform you, miss. Right? I'm really from New York, like the boroughs, Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bro and we don't consider people with names like Windsor, like fucking from New York. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I, just, I'm, I'm just being York. honest. Huh? And I have to move a lot, so that's... You have like, to move a lot? Yeah, so, like, I'm not really from an area, you know? Why do you have to move a lot? Um, My dad's in the military, so... Oh, I'm... oh, listen, I want no problems with your dad. He could kill people legally, right? <laughs> listen, he's a good guy. <laughs> Don't let him see this video. <laughs> now, listen, uh, tell your dad, shout out to you, Captain Corporal. <laughs> Lieutenant Marcos, we love you here. We're gonna sing you a song. Oh, say can you see my little? Maybe I should stop. Right. Shout out to Captain Carr in the Marines. <laughs> Is he a Marine? You ever yeah. seen the movie Taken? No. You should watch it. I, that's probably like your father in the movie Taken. When something happens to his daughter and he's like, I'm going to find you. And when I find you, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> like, holy shit. But listen. Uh, I have a question. Like, is it live? Or yeah, we're live on the lockout. Like, you have a, a oh, hearing yeah. problem. They sell that ear things in the Marines. <laughs> Tell them to send okay, you a, so a medical package from the Marines. <laughs> No, Wait, on, so on the lockout. Like downloaded. Do you do drugs? <laughs> yes. Oh, your father brings them from the Marines. Like, like, like. <laughs> Definitely. No. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> no, you're live. It's called On the Lockout. You don't see the name right there? I do, but. Yeah, on YouTube. You don't know how to look that up either? Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Oh my God, you're definitely fried, like Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, I thought that girl Bad Baby was slow. You're slow than Bad Baby. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that means you won. Yeah, yeah Dr. Phil cannot help you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Would you like to see Dr. Phil tomorrow morning? <laughs> We're going to set up an appointment for you that's going to be our gift from on the logout tomorrow morning. <laughs> you would be flying over to see Dr. Phil. <laughs> At this point, I probably need to. Yeah, I could tell. And it, and it, it makes sense. You know, it, you seem like you're with the program. You finally realize that you need help. Are you, like, curled up? 
Why it looks like you're in the camera, like you, like if you're like this. Oh, I'm doing my nails. Like I have, I have a whole setup. So Holy that's... shit! What? Let me see that again. But leave the camera still. You're moving it too fast. P point it down there. Holy it's like shit! Nail polish and then nails and then. My God! It looks like a fucking shooting gallery. <laughs> 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 it looks like fucking drug addicts have been in that room. What are you doing while your father's in the military? You're going wild. <laughs> you are? You you you're al Yeah, you know that could be good and bad. That could be dangerous. You're alone. You know, be careful. There's a lot of bad men out there, you heard? A lot of bad people on the internet. You know that? I'm aware. You I'm, I'm I'm highly aware. Yeah, definitely. You're definitely highly aware. <laughs> you, you definitely <laughs> look like you're highly aware. <laughs> but besides I'm you... Not <laughs> I'm just... You're just like... I, I just... I smoke so much that, like, my brain... It's just... It's it's all smoke up there. It definitely looks like smoke. You look like one big cloud of smoke. <laughs> I fuck with that. I fuck with that, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you look like you smoke clouds. Like clouds ain't got nothing on you. Like when you walk outside and a cloud is next to you, it looks like you just go. We're twinning. It looks like you just go and you suck up earth. I do. I fuck with that. <laughs> hey, listen, if, if you was to just meet me, well, you just did, right? And you would just see me and somebody says, I want to present this moron to you from on the lockout, right? Or show. Would it be convincing to you that I do shows? Yeah, like I, I kind of knew when I saw you, like I saw the headphones, I saw the fucking setup. So you, it was like. You knew right away I was a loser. Yeah. No, no, we didn't say that. I'm not a loser, I'm a winner. That's what's up. Definitely. Definitely. I like that. I like that. I believe I, I like you a little better now. Yo, not for nothing. Your fingers look crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Your fingers, that finger looks like it's on medication. What's wrong with it? Like, like, let me see. Let me see that. Go like this. Like this. Like, like this. I can't see your fucking hand. Like this. Oh. Holy shit. Is that an army finger? Yeah. In the army. <laughs> Let me show you this one. See? It's stuck like this. But I Holy can pop it shit. The what the fuck happened to that one? <laughs> that one leaned on you. It got high. That one's leaning. Oh man, you're not finger perfect. <laughs> but listen, listen, that's cool. We can fix that. I'll break that finger for you and straighten it out. Listen, <laughs> tell, this is what you do. Put your thumb on the table and hit it with a bat. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I think, I think I'm okay. <laughs> no, yeah, you're fine. Yo, listen, but it's a cool thing. So, so you're suffering from mental illness based on being alone in the apartment? No. But you feel like something is happening weird that's not supposed to be happening to you? I'm, I'm fine. So your father just takes you from town to town and drops you off in a building and says, this is where you're going to stay. If anything happens, you press this button right here and 15 marshals will be with you within seconds. If you press this Sorry. button, the whole block would explode. Make sure you always look out this window. And when you hear a beep, that's me at four in the morning. Like some fucking rules that are crazy, right? Do not open the door for anybody. If you even touch this doorknob, you would explode. Like, like, is he like that? Sounds like my dad. Sounds like him? <laughs> Sounds like him. Yeah, yeah, you see? I know, like, you do not move and be careful who you talk to on the internet. They could be spies from Japan. <laughs> right? What's that supposed to mean? No, listen, so... It definitely says, like, you're in turmoil. You, your life is, like, unmanageable, right? Yeah. 
So you just smoke weed all day. How do you get your weed? From the military? <laughs> no, what the fuck? I get it I get it from the streets. You go to the streets? No, I got You got no, a plug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got I the I smoke like anything though. Like I fucking I found a bag of weed under a bridge and I fucking smoked that shit. It could have been laced, but like I I don't care. Yo, you smoked a bag of weed you found under the bridge? Yeah. So, but but what I'm saying, you don't got bread, bredo to go buy yourself? When you fiending, you just go out there and look on the floor for leaves? Oh, God, bro. I'll I be uh, doing that shit. At least you keep it real. She said, I'll be doing that shit. I'm pretty, I'll be honest, man. Yeah, Life yeah. is tough. Life is tough. That's real. That's real. I respect that from a young girl like you. You heard? Because most people on the internet were front. Like, they millionaires. Oh, I got it made. Uh, I could buy all the butt in the world. And they don't understand that weed is a habit. You got to have money every day to buy that. Yeah. It's the whole thing. It's the thinking of going to buy the weed, uh, seeing the people. Yo, let me get one. It, rolling it up. It's not physically addictive, but it's the whole lifestyle of it. You know, you think like you hip hop. Oh, shit, Biggie. Oh, oh shit, little dark. Oh, shit, niggas lit. It's like the whole life, you know, the lifestyle. It's the. Yeah. You know what I'm Listen saying? The fucking music, fucking. Yeah. Fucking dying. Yeah, but, yeah, dying. Like, you know, watching the fucking. The video, you think that's gonna be your life one time? You watching on the lockout? You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh shit, this nigga's mad funny girl. <laughs> yeah, but I get it, man. But listen, at least it's good for people to see that just because your dad is in the military, he don't drop off thousands of dollars. Like, go smoke all the weed you want, little girl. You know? Because some people see white kids and they think you don't have a hard life. They think that you guys are all rich and all that. And that's not a fact. You know what I'm saying? But they don't hear these stories. They think y'all don't go through no struggles. That's a struggle. Looking for weed on the floor, that shit is deep. No, I, I genuinely, I struggle with mental health, though. I didn't want to say it, because, like... Oh, so you just know. go out there searching for things in the street, like, whatever. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't really care what happens to me. I use it as, like, like open my fingers. Oh, Sorry to hear that, John. But listen, you seem like a good individual, man. You suffer from mental health, right? Welcome to the real world. My show is like a little, like a Dr. Phil, but I'm Dr. Warpath, right? You have a friend here. If you ever think about hurting yourself or you think crazy thoughts, guess what, bro? You are not alone. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're an awesome individual. Let me ask you something. Excuse me? What she was gonna say? Honestly, what? I just, I got out of a mental hospital like a few days ago. So. <sighs> That's tough. Yeah, you, 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 you. You definitely resemble someone that came out of a mental hospital a few days ago. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, listen, we love you, bro. I know I was going to make you laugh. <laughs> listen, uh, uh, but why? It was, you just said it yourself. But look, we're happy that you're here. Honestly, you look like, with all respects, you kind of sort of look like fake. Not fake like in a bad way, but like, You, you could be in a movie, respectfully. You could do a lot of things. You don't even know that because you feel so low self-esteem about yourself that you don't see the beauty outside or in of yourself. I happen to think you're a great individual and you're going to make it in life. 
But you got to feel a little more better about yourself and believe. You have greatness. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you got to believe. You believe in a higher power? That's the problem. You're the second white girl I spoke to today that is an atheist. <laughs> The fuck is wrong with you guys? You guys are the devil. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. It's, I know. I know. I know. My black friends be saying that. I'm sorry. I got it from my black friends. <laughs> they they say devil to you guys, but I, I don't feel that way. Sorry. I know you guys are not the devil. You guys are great. I love you. <laughs> but listen, yeah, it's just weird how we always call white people the devil, but the devil signs your check, buddy. You're taking money from the devil, so I don't know. That's weird to me. But listen. Uh, <laughs> welcome to on the lockout. Listen, we love you. Uh, uh, you're gonna watch our show tomorrow. Some of it. You're gonna tune back in with us. Hit us on Instagram and DM us, and we'll do an episode. Me and you, and all the mentally ill people that we know. <laughs> what about that? We'll have like a mentally ill session. It'll be great for everybody. Mentally ill session. <laughs> yeah, for the mentally ill, disturbed people, respectfully. Like, we all have problems. <laughs> Welcome to mental health. This shit is real, right? Let's show the world is real. Like, yo, we're crazy. What could we do about it? <laughs> huh? Right. I know what we could do about it. I got a super bright idea. You want to hear it? We could do episodes on the mental illness and how we feel and what are we doing to cope with our situations. And we could generate an income to help other mentally ill people that think just like me and you. What an ingenious idea. This guy deserves an Oscar. Right? The only thing I'll say, say is it. I'm like really camera shy. Like I'm very anxious right now and terrified. You're doing great. I don't think I am. No, you're doing great. Like Tony the Tiger. Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. Kellogg's Frost and Fright. Bring out the tiger in you. In you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. Kellogg's Frost and Fright. Bring out the tiger in you. In you. <laughs> it's a fucking commercial. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, yeah, it's what we do around here. We commercialize shit. I'm not the dumbest dude in the world. <laughs> I'm pretty bright. <laughs> you sure? I I'm one of the no. dumb ones, but I'm not the dumbest. But I'm in that line, but I'm not the dumbest. And as long as I'm not the dumbest, I'm winning, <laughs> girl. <laughs> You're right. You're yeah. Right. If there was any, if there was anything in this world that you would like to do, any dream job, what would it be? Um, I've thought about being an artist. Like what type of artist? Um, I have a drawing. I'm not so proud. I'm not proud of it, but like. Holy think, shit! I Is that a, a jellyfish? Things. It's um, it's like kind of trippy. It's like trippy, like trippy red. Sure. Sure. It's fucking colorful, yeah. dude. Okay, it symbolizes drugs. Yeah. Your brain on drugs. Your eyeballs yeah. popping out. The colors. The molly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. You, If you learn how to do this trick within one day, I'll send you $20 cash app. Look, you got to go like this. You put your figure like this and you go... That was so random. <laughs> so if you know what song is this? You got it right in the tip of your tongue. You can't get it out, right? Man, you're doing great for a shy chick. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> right yeah, now. you're terrified. Watch this. There's a mouse right there. Ow! You scared of mice? 
Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. I have a pet snake. So you I have, have a pet to... snake? You're a fucking nut. <laughs> no, respectfully, I, no, 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 you're not a nut. No, wait, 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 oh, take it back. You have a pet snake? Is it loose? No, it's in a cage. Is it big, like a Toronto lunch? Or what is it, a python? It's just, it's just like a little corn snake, but it's a baby right now, and it's getting, it's going to get bigger. Does it smoke? Bro, at this point, whenever I smoke, I think it fucking smokes with me. Yeah. The poor thing is in my room. Fucking. Does your father know you smoke bud? Uh, he has an idea. Yeah, like. Yeah, I know yeah he, knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. He can yeah. smell it. He don't I mean, smoke. Like, look at me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Look at you. What do you mean, look at you? I don't, I have a fucking Bob Marley shirt on. Yeah, you're definitely son's definitely going on with you. Uh, you have a fucking Bob Marley shirt on. You're fucking white. Like I'm what white. the fuck? Yeah, you're white. We definitely know that we got that clear. Like you're definitely white, right? Or you're Jamaican? You sure? Oh, you could be Jamaican <laughs> or Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> So your father walks in, you got a Bob Molly shirt on, a fucking African flag on your wall. He's like, kid, you're going to die, right? Uh, <laughs> Some white fathers I'm think not... like that. Like, look, you're going to die. You're listening to hip hop. These kids are going to kill you. <laughs> They're no good, Sally. Nobody put Sally in a corner. <laughs> All right, listen. We love you in the hip hop community. We want you to know that. I run the hip-hop community. Hip-hop is under me. Facts. You like hip-hop? You like hip-hop? Um, Not really? Oh, um, God. I, um, a, a little bit. Like, yeah. Yeah? Are you yeah. weak? Are you crazy? Oh, no, wait. Don't answer that. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah. All right, so, so what type of music is your best music? Like, I don't, I have, like, I listen to, like, everything. Like, it's, except for country. I fucking hate country. What? But. Do you know that I, most of your favorite rappers listen to country? I don't care, bro. I can't. It's white music, and you don't want nothing to do with white people. You think you're bro. black. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a black boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. Did you have a black boyfriend before? Yeah. Was his name Tyrone? No. Charmaine? No. What was his name? <laughs> it was like fucking really white though. Are you sure you want to know? His name was white? White as fuck. But he was... But he was black as fuck. Yeah, but he must have got the name. He could have got it. Hey, let's not get to the story again, guys, about slavery. We're forgetting where these names come from. Let's keep it real. Uh, buddy, my name is Tom. My mother was, uh, hello, they took a, they enslaved her in Puerto Rico. Uh, black people weren't the only slaves. Puerto Ricans were enslaved also, in case you didn't know that part of the story. They leave it out all the time, but it's just a fact. Your father is a slave owner. Is he? Oh, no. No? <laughs> I, I would hope not. His grandfather <laughs> was. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> but it's a bad thing. It's a super bad thing. But we love you. You know why? Because you're weird and you play with your toes during the live stream and it's cool. I, Are you a I'm pig? Are you a pig? pig? Are you a pig? Like, oink, oink. Are you a pig? Are you calling me fat? No, I mean like a dirty. Are you dirty? Oh no. I... Are, you, are you a dirt bomb? No, you take good care of yourself. That's what's I, up. I can't be dirty. You catch okay, that's good. Dirt dirty is not good. Yeah, I like I just took a bubble bath and I sat in there for like an hour. And then I did my skin. And then I dyed my hair. How can you stay on so still? Okay. 
that's that's fun. I can see you slightly moving, bro. <laughs> I can see you slightly moving, bro. I did pretty good, though, right? Yeah, you did. Ah, you see, you got to give it to me, you heard? I, I learned that because I was always staying still when I was doing robberies, and somebody be like, yo, the cops are there, and I'd be like... You laugh, son? Yeah. And then I come out like... Oof. Six hours later, it, I was telling you, I had to stay in a warehouse, bro, when I was doing organized crime for like over nine hours like this. Cramps, having a shit, holding a holding a cough, bro. You couldn't even go, <clears throat> but you hear the dogs. Whoa, 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 <clears throat> ten four, John. <clears throat> My boy's like, yo, I'm out of here. I'm like, nigga, don't move, don't move, don't move, nigga. You bugging. You going where, nigga? You gonna if he leaves, he's telling on me. You get it? So I had no choice. So I put him like this, and now I got him in the headlock, and now we still like, shut up, nigga. Now he can't talk or he was trying to leave. Now I got him like for like hours, bro. Right? And then you know what you call like you put somebody to sleep? Yeah. I had to put this nigga to sleep. That's just that pop. I said I either killed him or he's sleeping. But either way, he's good money because I'm safe. And that's all I was caring about. If he was dead, I would have been still okay with it. Cause I couldn't go to jail that day. You heard? You know yeah. why? You know why? What? Because I had started smoking weed, and when the weed didn't do nothing to me, somebody introduced me to Opius, one of the young guys in the street. And I had a habit, because they put Opius in the weed and fentanyl. And now I had an addiction. And I said, oh, no, nigga, I can't go to the island right now. You heard? Like, chill. Just shut the fuck up. And I was good after that, and I got my... My fake weed that was laced with opiates, and it was great. You gotta be careful, somebody can lace you. Yeah. You're gonna no, like I'm it. Like you have an addictive personality. Do not. Yes, you do. You're lonely, you're, you're depressed, you're alone all day. You, fall in, you ever meet that drug girl, you're gonna be gone. You're gonna be a crackhead on death row. Skid Row, that man. You ever seen Skid Row? Today, we're gonna talk about the most dangerous streets in Los Angeles. Skid Row. You ever seen those shows? This is Susan. At the age of 12, she started running the streets of San Diego. Today, Susan is a prostitute. And she works from 7 to 9 p.m. You ever seen those shows? <laughs> Yeah, don't be part of them shows, man. Where you see yourself in five years from now? Me too. I see you dead. Because if I ever see you, I'm going to kill you. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm a comedy guy. I do comedy. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. I'm, I would never do that. Listen. What if I told you that I'm wanted throughout the whole United States of America? By the FBI. Would you believe me? Why not? I know, but I'm going to tell you who was seen like such a nice guy too. Jupiter Joe. You know who that is? Let me explain to you real quick. Jupiter Joe was a man that went around meeting young girls like you on the internet. And then he got close to them and murdered them. And he killed girls all over the world. He was the biggest piece of shit on earth. And they finally caught up with him after 20 years. Technology. It's the most gruesome story you've ever heard. But I'm glad he's put away. Hopefully he's dead. But listen, God loves you. <laughs> Random, right? Random shit happening, right? You fuck with it? That's what's up. That's gangster. You got her? <laughs> Did you steal that nail polish? Is that glue you're sniffing? You're on drugs, girl. What are you doing? <laughs> you gotta be careful. You're sniffing chemicals. Listen, we'll talk to you. Thank you for tuning in to our show on the lockout. You're gonna miss us, you But hit us up. We're on every platform. Instagram, DM us. Let us know whenever you plan on killing yourself. And we'll come help you.
No, we'll come save you. We'll come save you. We got people all over the world that'll shout you out and come in. You're gonna hear somebody. Don't get scared. They're gonna be like, "We're here with you. Do not worry." Warpath Sender. Yeah, and but don't worry about it. You're you're safe. You know why, right? Jesus Sender.